everyone, this is Anton and I wanted to touch base on three topics in this video. Number one, our first annual report and its results. Number two, clarification regarding the roadmap. And number three, answers to the questions, uh, well, from our community. Um, so this is all this, episode, this video is going to be about. And uh, without our further ado, our first annual report. Uh, it is already online and available uh, on our website. It covers and summarizes all the activities and milestones we achieved as a project ever since the ICO till now. It was definitely very hard yet exciting times for the project and for each and every member of the crew of the team and our community. Since our ICO where more than 12,000 people believed in the mission of the project, there are currently more than 500,000 people using our product, so our customers and our users. It's the product that was developed from that mission. But it is not all about the finish. We're still at the very beginning of the industry, of the vision of the Humanique, of the vision of the true value that the project can bring to its customers. Ultimately, I wanted to say thank you for, um, for everything. I want to say to everyone, to every supporter, every member of the community, our partners and my colleagues, without your support, your constant development and improvement that would not be possible. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support. And we will continue working on that. The second topic I wanted to touch base on this video is the, the roadmap. There were a lot of rumors, questions and misunderstanding. And, and I wanted to clear that for our supportive community. So basically following the lengthy discussions and evaluations, we have come to the decision not to release the long-term roadmap. While they are considered to be a must-have for crypto projects, we always felt that having a strict roadmap would restrict our ability to adapt to the changing landscapes of crypto and fintech. Uh, ultimately, we don't want to create the roadmap just for the sake of creating. We don't want to show it. We want to adhere to, uh, to it as much as possible and as possible to make it as detailed enough to make sense. Unfortunately, that is impossible promise. We use agile development process and the lean startup principle, which focuses on providing new features that are eternally based on the feedback. Hypotheses are made and tested, iterated fast, 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 so then scraped and then integrated. We are moving very fast and then the roadmap is just slowing us down. We don't know if everything that we are planning will work out perfectly, if something is going to change or something is going to stick. Uh, the priorities are is that the fixed, the fixed roadmap would prevent us from doing that. Uh, also, the regulatory aspects also need to be considered, or rather their absence. In their uncertainty, we might see bans, license requirements, and add the ma major changes that would prevent us from adhering to the roadmap. And that's something that we can control. We will, of course, provide short and medium term goals as we, as regulatory updates come in place and then come to the countries where we're working or the markets where we're present. Uh, but basically, that is something that we cannot currently do at this moment. So I wanted to clarify and clear this conversation uh, that we don't know, uh, we will not publish the long-term roadmap for 2018 or for 2019 currently. Uh, so I hope that is um, that hope that helps everybody else who is looking for the uh, roadmap, who is looking for this document. Uh, so I hope this statement helps you out. Uh, the third part that I wanted to touch base here is now uh, the questions from the community. Now, basically, there will be three major questions from the community that I wanted to, um, again, respond to. The three major topics that we had respond to correlate to, number one, uh, the, the blocks and the current uh, situation with the fraud and the anti-fraud system. Number two is the current development in terms of the countries. Uh, as you know, we've expanded from five countries in November 2017 to more than 40 countries in 2018. It's, it's more than 40 countries now. And then the third question, it would be regarding the technical developments of, um, of the country nodes. So without further ado, in terms of the fraud, the current situation is our system has launched and developed an anti-fraud system that is self-learning. So it's a, it's a clever and smart system. Uh, what happens is that uh, we've, we did have an attempt of fraud. Uh, there was definitely huge attempts of fraudulent activity. So there were a lot of other competitors. There was a lot of other users that would try to actually uh, abuse the system. So that is why some of you may experience the blocks of their accounts, uh, which again, in case uh, it was it was a wrong uh, decision, it would be un unbanned. 
uh, we did have cases where people would try to overload and abuse the system with getting free tokens. So we shut down and eliminated all of those requests. Uh, so basically what happens is that the anti-fraud system now is currently working and in place. Uh, all of the withdrawals are open, completely open. Uh, I can say that we successfully fought the fraud and attempts of fraud and now we're moving further with uh, our regular development plan. So in terms of the future development, uh, in terms of the country's expansion, so currently we decided that we uh, are going to set a number of countries uh, where we're going to focus because we want to devote all our efforts and all our timing and um, all of our resources uh, into developing and penetrating those markets further. Um, so in the recent times, we would not expand into any other more countries. Um, so hope that helps, uh, again, just in case there's going to be any fraudulent news out there, fake news. So um, right now we're focusing on one country, Tanzania. All the other countries remain uh, open uh, and remains active, proactive. It just means that the resources that the development team and the product team are actually um, investing are more focused on the Tanzanian market. Uh, lastly, there was the, the third question about the technical activity in terms of how the country nodes are operating, how the blockchain system operates, and then how it, is it happening. So we've created a set of articles that explain our hybrid blockchain system uh, a little bit more in details. And here I just wanted to um, highlight that there are uh, two Medium articles uh, written by our uh, great team members that explain that very briefly in detail because unfortunately I don't have time in this video to go through all of that. Uh, but basically I want to highlight that our hybrid blockchain system was one of its kind when we first released into the production. And that system helps us slow, well, lower down the transaction costs and transaction fees for all our users. Uh, basically, thank you very much for this. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching this. Um, thank you um, once again for all of your support. Um, it was Anton. Everyone have a great day. Thanks.